Now, this is a little bit more extreme case. This represents a 54-year-old Hall of Fame baseball player who had a several-year history of insidious onset with progressively worsening mechanical right hip pain. Now, throughout his career playing baseball, he was told that he had significant degenerative change within the joint. He was managed with corticosteroid injections and was told that at some point he needed a total hip replacement. If we look at his plain film radiograph, there is evidence of loose bodies or synovial chondromatosis as well as sort of secondary degenerative changes in the acetabular rim. In looking inside the joint with this individual, we can see sort of a hemorrhagic synovium as the surgeon's probing the area where some overgrowth. But here we see all kinds of loose bodies, somewhat even impacted into the acetabulum. In fact, some of these loose bodies, as we see here, were so big that they could not even be removed through the arthroscope. They needed to be morselized by an upbiting tool, as we're witnessing here, to get them into a smaller piece so that they could be removed from the joint itself. Now, as those loose bodies are evacuated from the joint, we're going to see the surface of the acetabulum. And clearly, that sur surface has been eroded. That's not good articular surfaces. Now, the surgeon's going to go behind the femoral head is where you're looking at. The probe is sort of working its way posteriorly. But I think this is somewhat amazing to me that he keeps reaching there. There's one uh, pulling a loose body out. Or as we look at it, I kind of liken this to pulling rabbits out of a hat. As he keeps probing back there, he keeps tugging and tugging, and we'll see another loose body come out uh, with this. <clears throat> and you want to know why this person has been experiencing pain. He had all these loose bodies in the bo within his joint, and when it was all said and done, this is what came out of the joint. This person ended up being completely asymptomatic within seven days of surgery and returned to normal activities of daily living. And in fact, one of the things that really was the precipitator to this case was he wanted to coach his son's Little League baseball team and he wanted to be able to play baseball with his kids. And this surgery, which is very simple, allowed him to return in a very short period of time, completely asymptomatic. And he remains asymptomatic today, even though we did see significant degenerative changes and we know that he'll have issues before a normal healthy joint would. In this case, he still is asymptomatic today and doing well.